But we as Leola celebrate nine years of marriage and here are a few things ni melan ngependa kushiana nyi. I'll see you. Mada jayi me kwa nine years maze mimi na mbebe tango ni seme I do na epi ya seme I do. And I'll thank God for this far to me come. Ile kitu muhimu maze ni mefileo maze ni yu. Nizi tu kushia a few things. In fact, vitu tatu peke yake zenye nime learn in these nine years of marriage probably in as encourage mtu mali or probably in as a coincide na kitu mtu ana go through bado ya tunishia na vitu tatu zinanisumbua akili of course unajua maji soga tunaongea kuhusu ukiana maze ku make vows eh kuna those common phrases in good times and in bad mti yangu in 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 riches and in poverty mti yangu tunasemaga in sickness and in health Maybe unaweza kuona fikiria hii story wa gina same watu. Reality ni atizi vitu mazeni situations za life na zina come. Ni faces na seasons za za life. Na no, kuna those moments that come kupata. Mimi nimezipitia zote. Nimekuona good moments maze. Kuna moments maze zimekuwa ni memorable, exciting, ma traveling opportunities, uh, career growth mti yangu watoi ku come. What a blessing imekuwa mtu yangu. Kuna those, uh, those interesting moments tumekuwa nazo. Labda tumekuwa na bad moments in time. Tunaonge about baze moments zenye kwangu na kumka of course one of the lowest imekuwa ku lose mtoi in the process. Ah uh, kumekuwa na ile moment nilikuwa nime sota yangu yangu yote mtu yangu life ilikuwa imechapa. At one point kabidi wife maze wiki moja kwanza ju kuna situation kuna happen umpeleke kwao kidogo tu ukijaribu ku sort vitu mbili tatu those moments zenye unapitia zenye ni hard zina 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 challenge maze thinking yako kuhusu marriage na way uko me expect eh? ni moments zimekuwa tumekuwa na moments of sickness tumepitia maze in fact of course I'm just get the testimony ile about wife kidogo aende those moments zenye zime challenge zime ku stress zime ku threaten Umeshanga God yuko hayuko na kumekuwa na moments maze vitu zime work out be poor. Get? Imekuwa ni experience interesting na kama kuelezea nyewe. Ivao si vao ya mchezo. Sasa unasema in good times and in bad. Si maneno tu. Sasa unasema in sickness and in health. Buda si maneno. Sasa unaongea kuhusu in riches and in poverty. Hey bro. Si maneno ni ni commitment serious ju hizo seasons za life zitakuwa Leso ni melan tatu ni simple ya kwanza ni circumstances don't define your marriage and they should not yani ukiona domo buki make a lot of money it does not make your marriage rich chapata ukisota it does not make your marriage poor kuna those circumstances utapitia mti yangu the fact that uko na a sick spouse does not make your marriage sick buda unaweza kuona vitu fulani unaweza pitia vitu fulani but those things ni melan has if i could define your marriage wewe na spouse wako ndio mna define this marriage the context based on perspective ya god on it ni ndio mna define so mkienda through any situation Marriage high change. In fact, you don't have determine experience mtakuwa nayo in those situations. In fact, it is through the context of marriage yenu yenye mtajiambia tutachangeaje the circumstances around us lakini the circumstances around us is to change the marriage tuko nayo. Kila mtu atakuwa na option whether or not to take the control ya ku make sure wewe na spouse wako ndio mna control the experience ya marriage or Unachukua hiyo control upeane kwa circumstances mti yangu na vitu external. Or rather what to external wa control the nature of the experience utakuwa nayo in marriage. High five kwa hivyo at least ni malanio. The second thing ni malani mti yangu in the nine years ni memory. Ni ati love si automatic. <laughs> Buda haijifanyi tu. Vitu azi azijipeani tu mti yangu unaelewa? In fact, whatever experience unataka kukuwa nayo in marriage, nimelan wewe ndo lazima uiproduce. 
Lazima ui cultivate, lazima ujulize. Nataka ku experience nini maze nikirelate na spouse wangu. And then ujulize zile vitu mimi ufanya. Ina enhance ama ina create hiyo experience nataka nikuwe nayo. Sasa zile umemwaka wewe chali si lazima uambi wife mali unaenda kwa mfano. Eh hey, wife u discovering tu huko. Ile experience unataka ukuwe nayo ukikam mali umetoka. Hii action yako unafikiri itakuwa ime cultivate, ime ime create an environment inaweza kuwa realized. Ama actions zako mti yangu zina fight the very same thing unataka ku experience. Sasa wewe ni a nagging wife mti yangu. Ile experience unataka kukuwa nayo in this marriage in this home. Unafikiria hii action yako ya kunag inasaidia ku create whatever unataka ku experience in your marriage. Wewe ndo unai produce. Haiji produce. Haya happen tu. Haya nguki kutoka kwa ukuta ama kwa ceiling mahali. Wewe ndo unaifanyia job which means love iko na kibarua then the last thing ni learn in these 9 years so far ni at love in a pro, in a precede submission of course hapa hivi niko sure kuna machali wana feel eh budo nonge kuzi nini ah ile kidogo ni learn nilikuwa those situations and you kill no the first years your marriage mti yangu hapa na pale eh eh asipofanya ufanyi isipofanyika ufanyi Everything unafanya iko dependent on kama yeye atafanya beat yake ama atafanya. Siku moja mti yangu nishakuwa na those two chances yenye nime cut down. Nime feel wife ameni kwaza. Ah, nimeshika nara nikasema round hii. Hii hii inaenda kumshtaki kwa God. Hii yenyewe hii ni ai. Atwezi shivo. Nikimwambia mzee kwa God mzee Buddha. The wife you gave me a manilet ya ngori. God in his faithfulness anakuambia hey, Buddha mzee sifikiri hata ngori ni wife yako. Niwe ningependa ku deal naye unanyenyekea kwanza useme god mazeta ni mimi naambe eh god anaanza kuni take through process ya being able to love my wife like christ loved the church ni hizi kuisema eh until god anza ku take through what anataka u, u, u get from hiyo scripture ama from hiyo context eh then the first thing nikaza ku learn about love ya christ to the church ni first maze god ali love I need to love while we were yet sinners. In other words, tukio kwa hiyo ngori love yake ilikuwa mazee kwa manifested already tukio kwa hiyo ngori. Then number two, aka come mazee kajipeana, kapea mtoi wake mazee Christ akam. Akam kutusaidia kutoka kwa hiyo ngori. Na kikaa maku come na judgment alikam na mercy. Which means mazee so let her feel why if amefanya kitu haijani bamba kwa mfano. Sikuji kwake na judgment mazee. Una una more approach na mercy mti yangu. Una zile fikile mali ukisema whether wife amenipea maja nipea. Whether wife amenipikia maja nipikia. Whether wife ame do zile to expect or not. Love yangu kwake haitakuwa determined na response yake. Whether meifanya or not, mimi ka hazi. Lazima niweze ku demonstrate my love for her hata sasa leo amefanya blanda sasa leo amefanya kitu mazejo ijani bamba buda ni experience hard lakini what ni me realize ni when ni begin ku ku implement this story siku moja wife mazee from noya me come to na kaseba kanambia eh hey, buda eh hey, wacha nikshow me si juu nini nimekuwa kia pen kwa life yako eh bado nataka kuambia one thing mazee ni me come ku discover nye unanipenda unconditionally Haijalishi nime do nini najua there's nothing there's a do ku un love yako I don't need to change my in particular ways ni un love yako All I just have to do now is to respond to your love I'm saying zile pini ilikuwa na struggle gani tukianza hapa na pale zile zilikuwa zinaleta dome Hey all of a sudden maze <laughs> zime disappear vitu nilikuwa na feel labda ni hard wife a respond to maze zina kamaraka bila mi kuitisha zile vitu nilikuwa najaribu ku achieve by means zingine ni melodies hii hai kumbe maze zinaweza kam bila hata wewe ku struggle for them unaelewa i can realize maze god maze instruction na tupatia that husbands love your wives god ana jua nini ana do mti yangu god ana jua nini ana do God is your wife submit to your husband. God anajua nini anadoo. 
nimelearn tukicheza tu roles zetu venye god ame define marriage ni sweet experience ni nice na ni kujibamba design ya noma so far hizo ni lesson start zime ni bamba na look forward to great years mazena thank god for all what what me to mentor and thank god for all of them work na sisi marriage care group yetu mazee the men's fellowship wenye mtushikilia wale watu mazee wame make sure watu na blanda hapa na pale family yenye stand na sisi kitcho love ai mazee jo asante mazee na ni na feel mazee hata itoki venye nataka itoke eh lakini ni ku appreciate na wale watu wame to allow to mentor pia wame tupatia challenge ku make sure atuwapigi mentorship ya mdomo kuna reality wanaweza cheki kwa life yetu aseme nyenye na make sense So buda after celebrate nine years I hope kuna mse ame pick something I hope kuna mse ame barikiwa I hope kuna mse ame pata encouragement kawe ni mse unapanga kumari danganywa na mtu marriage ni sweet ukipata the right person na ukifanya in the right way I'll see you at Freddy Buda boss nikisikia kuacha comment eh wewe jisikie in the meantime mm oh Wendy, wife and Anita. <laughs>